This video is to answer three questions left by one of my subscribers, Anya, and I'm going to try and answer all three questions very quickly and very briefly on this video. I should point out before I start though that I'm using the full version of Sibelius Ultimate. Some of these features may not work in some of the other versions, or i.e. Sibelius First or Sibelius, but for Sibelius Ultimate then they will work. And they're all to do with copying and pasting um, using multiple voices. So you can see I'm using um, a piano with a trumpet solo part here. Look at the piano part in particular because that uses multiple voices in this bar here. So just to demonstrate I'm going to delete those bars, it's going to be something to paste into. An idea would be if I want to take those bars there, or that bar there, and paste it into here, I'm going to copy it. First of all, click in there and paste, Control V. And it should come across with the voices as they are here. That should happen in Sibelius Ultimate. I'll put a link in the description for this video with a comparison chart between Sibelius Ultimate and the other versions. So you can double check and see if this feature is supported. If however, let's say, let's delete that bar, if I wanted you can see this is voice 1 and voice 2, so the blue one is voice 1, the green is voice 2. That's universal across the board for notes and rests. If I'd only wanted voice 2 here to come across there, what I should do is first of all select it, go to the filters, and further down here I'm only going to select voice 2. So now only the voice 2 notes are selected, copy those, go across here and paste them, and they come in in voice 2. You can see I've got a voice 1 rest up here, and my notes are in voice 2. Another way you could do that, which gives you a little more control, is that, again, only an ultimate, I think, if you select that bar, go to your home tab, and then you have copy. I don't think you even need to do the copy, but I tend to do it anyway. Go to where you want to put it, and under your paste button here, you have the option of paste into voice. Don't think this appears in any other version apart from Ultimate. But what that lets you do, opens up a, a window here, and I can paste from any voice into any voice. So if I want to take the voice 2 notes here, I would copy from voice 2, but I'm going to paste them this time into voice 1, which I didn't do last time. They pasted them into voice 2, remember? So I'm going to paste them into voice 1. You asked a question, Anya, about the colours, why do they turn blue or other voices sometimes in both breaks and notes. What should happen is, and again I'm talking about ultimate, is that whatever you copy, whichever voice it's in, it will then go into that voice. And the colours are the voices, so blue is voice 1, green is voice 2. You also asked, let me delete this, you also asked about pasting into a section of a bar rather than from the beginning of the bar. Now for example if I take this chord here, double click on it, copy it, select this bar here and paste it, it goes into beat 1 whereas here it was in beat 2. That's because I haven't told Sibelius whereabouts in the bar I want it to go so therefore it assumes it's going to put it on beat 1. If I wanted it to go into beat 2 what I should do first of all is create a rest so that I can then click on beat 2. I would then Select your note here, copy it, go to beat 2, or wherever I want it to appear, and paste it. By the same token, if I made a quaver rest here, I could go there and paste into the second half of the first beat, and it will give me that note there. What is sometimes a quicker and easier option is to let's look at this bar here. Copy it, paste it, delete the notes you don't want. That's very often a quicker way to do it. It depends on the context. I hope that helps. Give me, let me know how you got on.